All right, fellas, I chopped about two inches out of this combustion chamber here. I do intend to make a far smaller version of this, by the way. We're gonna see how it performs at this size. Okay, fellas, I don't have good editing software, so we're just taking a look at the difference in the flame here. Definitely a better looking flame on the shorter combustor, obviously, right? I mean, more of the flames outside of the combustion chamber. And let's get another look at, uh, what do you got here, man? You just look. <laughs> There's a top hit of it. Beautiful flame. I mean, but uh, see if I can get a similar shot here. But as you can see, this one's just a lot more stout. I think what's going on here also, not only is more of the flame obviously outside the combustion chamber, but the reduction in speed taking place in the longer combustion chamber. I think we've got much more velocity coming out just because there's a smaller combustion chamber. So that's like a secondary attribute. Not only is more flame obviously burning outside a combustor, but um, we need some of that combustion chamber to choke up the air enough to let it receive the oxygen at a high rate so we don't just blast the whole process out of the tube. <laughs> Try a little experiment here with the narration track. I'm getting tired of writing, and I'm sure you don't want to sit here and read. Who would want to come watch YouTube videos just to be forced into reading a bunch of stuff that I've written? I don't like writing, and you don't like reading. That's the whole point. So we'll give this a shot and see what it does. I don't know how to work this yet. Essentially, guys, what's going on here that's most important is the fact that we are mixing propane with a supersonic jet of air, basically. An annular jet of air. And the process of doing that changes the rate of combustion by exposing the fuel to fresh oxygen at a higher rate of speed. So, within any given increment of time, we have exposed more fuel to more oxygen because we are force feeding it basically. So, though it may appear we're losing all of our energy in the combustor and all that, we are still issuing a jet blast of air that's right around 2100 degrees or so. Just over the melting point of copper and just under the melting point of iron. And you can't do that with a spud burner. It just doesn't work. So this process is basically taking 100 PSI's of air and mixing it with the propane. Not inside the nozzle though. That's not what's happening. We are not mixing propane and air inside of a nozzle. You would need a complex regulator system to pull something like that off. We're doing something a little bit more simpler than that. And Basically, the jet blast of heat that I can feel standing right here is just incredible. The air is so hot, even with that door open in this room, that uh, my nose hairs are curling for crying out loud. It kind of reminds me of this story of a power plant job I did a long time ago. We used to crawl inside of hot backpasses in the boilers and stuff for power plants. 
And one time this old dog named Paul Hockley told me, he's like, uh, yeah, when you get in there, man, your teeth will get so hot it'll burn your lips. And I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, yeah, that's some old hippie wise tale that this guy's telling me, you know, like some just old man story. So it's time to get in the back pass. Uh, they say the temperature was about 140 degrees in there. That's when they'll let us in. And when you're in there, my trick is to dump water over my head about every two minutes. In two minutes, your body's dry again. You can dump an entire bottle of water over your entire body. And uh, anyway, we get in there, and I'm crawling around, and my nose hairs immediately start curling. Like I can feel the air is so hot that it instantly dries the inside of my nose, and I could feel the skin crack. It was the craziest thing I've ever felt in my life. 140-degree air, guys. And I get up on top of the back pass on the curtains and I closed my mouth and my teeth had become so hot from breathing this air that it burnt my damn lips I shit you not and I yelled out Paul my teeth are burning my lips dude and everyone just started busting out laughing because they had heard me doubting the story and all that and it was just hilarious he was he was telling the truth and I doubted him <laughs> so just a little story there for you guys. I'll shut up now. Beast.